Hi, I'm CJ, and this is my RC channel. Okay, holes have been drilled. The uh, brass fittings have been uh, mounted and dried, and I have attached the wing using the screws. And... Uh, double checked the measurement and it is spot on so good to go um, on to the next step I uh, just wanted to show you the, uh, the full fuse let's put the hatch on the uh, latch mechanism that I set up works quite nice. Um, I uh, um, I used my Dremel and kind of routed out uh, the inside of the hatch to uh, ditch a little extra weight. Um, got about. Uh, three quarters of a gram of weight off of there. Uh, the biggest part of the weight is the latch itself. Um, if you're going for an absolute super light build and that's your number one concern, don't go with this. Go with the magnet and uh, that'll shave uh, oh, three or four grams. But, you know, is it really worth it? Um, I, I love the the way this latches down. It's it's uh, never gonna pop off and uh, fly away on me. Just slide that puppy right on in there, and uh, those little blocks of wood I put in there uh, keep it from moving side to side. The nice wide tongue that fits left to right all the way across is nice and solid. Um, so, all is well. The back end's all shaped. Did a lot of sanding. Um, that's definitely something you want to, that's a good way to lose weight, is uh, taking this angle down as far as you can. Um, you don't want to take too much off the sides because you don't want to take strength away from the sides. You got the doublers in there, but you, you don't want to, um, you know, take a lot off there. I mainly just smoothed these the sides down, got them nice and, and soft and, and smooth, ready for covering. Um, took as much as I could off of the nose and uh, and then cleaned out the inside of the hatch. So um, I weighed the fuse the other night and it was about 70 grams. So uh, pretty light. And uh, I'll of course be doing a full uh, way up on the final product. I couldn't resist doing a bit of covering the other night. Um, covered the two outer wings and uh, that um, Ultra Coat Park Light is super thin stuff. I mean you can you can see the carbon fiber spar and where it's uh, you know attaching to the wood um, but it's definitely uh, worth it it's it's very gossamer um, one thing you do have to watch out for it likes to stick on itself once it's warm at all so like if you've got say a uh, half inch edge over here as you're applying it um, you might want to wrap that around and uh, put a few pieces of masking tape on it to keep it stretched uh, to keep it from just curling in on itself because if it gets a little heat and it, it starts to uh, to bend around, it'll attach to itself. And um, then you uh, might have to even, even pull it off. And um, this is probably the most uh, difficult covering I've ever worked with as far as iron-on coverings go. Um, but it, uh, at the same time, it, it you know, makes a, a great result. So, you know, I would definitely be using this on any gliders and any uh, small aircraft that I build. 
I just wish it came in more colors, but uh, you know, we'll see what Hangar 9 does in the future. Okay, there's one other thing that I thought I'd discuss. I'm still making my mind up uh, if I'm going to do this and exactly how much I'm going to do it. I got to uh, put together the, uh, the piece that's going to go right here. And when I'm done with that, if you look closely, you can see that there's a gap right here ahead of the firewall and it's like that when I have the screws in place so that's just between the leading edge and the uh, F2 it's not a firewall it's F2 bulkhead um, but the my uh, point in pointing that out is that um, this is a potential point of failure um, hard landing stuff like that this is a place where uh, things are going to break potentially because you've got um, all the length of the wing levering you know from both sides you know coming in like this uh, as the plane is stopping suddenly um, and so this is like i said a point of failure so what i think i'm going to do is cut a piece of fiberglass cloth and it's not going to take a lot uh, and just a single piece um, probably about a half inch to three quarters of an inch wider than the fuselage it doesn't need to be the entire length of the plywood but it definitely needs to be wider than the fuselage itself and wrap that around and up uh, probably up against the edge of um, whatever is going to be, you know, filling in from here, going back onto the wing, that little fairing, basically, that I have yet to build. Um, so uh, I'll cover that um, when and if I do it. But that's one of the, I definitely think I am going to do that. After rereading the directions and seeing how the fairing uh, is going to be made on the front of the wing, um, it's basically molded out of epoxy and micro balloons. You cover the wing with wax paper or uh, some non-stick material, and uh, then you kind of putty it on. So uh, it's not going to attach to the wing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sheet uh, this area and wrap. Um, around the uh, the leading edge with uh, very thin fiberglass material this is material that I had um, as you can see my fingers right through this it's extremely thin this is three-quarter ounce uh, very light fiberglass material so um, I'm not gonna show the process I'll, I'll show you how it looks afterwards uh, this is the size piece I've cut it's a little more than an inch and slightly less than the width of the fiberglass so it'll cover the holes on both sides um, and uh, uh, fully wrap around and add a lot of strength to that leading edge there where um, it comes in contact with the uh, fuselage and where it takes the highest loads it's drying um, if you look through this clear plastic, you can't even see the weave of the material. It's so thin. Um, the way I did it, I used 30 minute epoxy and I took an epoxy brush and basically laid down a very thin coat on the wood top and underneath. Then I laid the cloth in place on the upper section and then wrapped it under uh, wearing my gloves of course and kind of smoothed everything in a bit with the gloves and after a point you know you get a lot on the gloves and it starts becoming hard to handle you start trying to pull it up uh, or start sticking to the gloves and you risk pulling the material up so i took a piece of this clear plastic material which is the backing for monocoat and I stretched it over the front, basically holding the wing on end and starting by laying it across here and then stretching it down across the top and bottom and smoothed it, um, wiped away excess glue, um, 
pulled that piece off, put another piece of clear plastic on, smoothed everything down again, got any uh, bubbles out, got any um, excess glue out, and then taped this in place so it's holding tight, wrapped around the leading edge here. And uh, this is gonna turn out very nice. It's gonna be very solid, very light, uh, used very little glue overall once I wiped away the excess and because that uh, piece of fiberglass material is so thin it doesn't hold on to a lot of glue so I will need to redrill these holes uh, but no biggie in fact those I won't even drill I'll probably just cut them with a number 11 exacto blade um, and then file them a little bit if needed but they should be should be able to just uh, cut uh, that little circular piece of uh, fiberglass out of there. So that um, I think is gonna turn out great. I'm really pleased with that. Uh, so now, um, since this was kind of uh, off book and uh, not in the instructions, it's time to move on to the next step. Um, the next step is putting together the V-tail and so while I was waiting on some stuff to dry earlier, I went ahead and got everything out. Uh, this is all the long sections, and here we have all the small pieces. Uh, so I had left those in the original box, uh, still in the wood. Uh, it's very delicate pieces. I didn't want to risk damaging anything along the way, so I didn't uh, pull anything out until I had gotten to this section and then arranged it in one of these little boxes. This is definitely a good technique to use. It's a good way to keep from losing stuff, breaking stuff, and uh, it, it helps you keep organized. Things just go together faster and easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like and please subscribe to my channel. If you click the bell icon, you'll receive notifications every time I launch a new video. Thank you for watching.